located on the eastern side of Taiwan's Central Mountain Range, flanked on the north by Danda Mountain, an important wildlife habitat, and to the south by Yushan National Park. Yuli Wildlife Refuge is a part of the Central Mountain Range Corridor. Geologically, the refuge is comprised of tertiary submetamorphic rocks, from the top of Mashi Mountain at about 3,400 meters to the Fengping River at about 900 meters. The refuge spans an elevation range of 2,500 meters. In 1973, the Forest Bureau designated Compartment 32 as a protected area. It includes mature Taiwan red cypress and Taiwania trees for seed harvesting. In 1989, while conducting a natural resources survey in this area, Professor Liu Guangyan from National Taiwan Normal University found what appeared to be the footprint of a Formosan clouded leopard. I remember we saw a footprint in the sand at the base of a cliff. The footprint was much larger than the footprints of the other carnivores we knew about. We happened to know a researcher who studied Southeast Asian clouded leopards at the Bronx Zoo in New York. We showed him the photo of the footprint. He looked at the photo and thought the footprint was quite large. It was clearly made by a member of the cat family. He thought it was very likely that the footprint was made by a Formosan clouded leopard. In the Yuli Wildlife Refuge, including the Formosan clouded leopard, 29 species of mammals, 61 birds, 4 reptiles, four amphibians, and one species of fish have been recorded. The Formosan clouded leopard, Mikado pheasant, banded krite, Moltrechtes green tree frog, and Taitung loach are all protected under Taiwan's wildlife conservation law. The government, acting on the suggestions of wildlife professors, expanded the protected area from compartment 32 westward to the boundary of Danda Mountain and Yushan National Park. In 1990, the name of this protected area was officially changed to Yuli Wildlife Refuge. The Yuli Wildlife Refuge is located in Hualianxian, Zhuoxixian. It is managed by the Forest Bureau. The refuge includes the working circle compartments 32 to 37, and has a total area of 11,415 hectares. Most of this area is well-preserved virgin forest. A small area in compartment 32 is plantation forest. Therefore, compartment 32 was designated as a buffer zone. And compartments 33 to 37 were designated the core zone, in which human activities that cause disturbance, such as hunting, collecting and logging are prohibited. In Hualianxian, Zhuoxixian, you pass through Red Leaf Village and the Red Leaf River Valley eventually reaching the 32-kilometer-long Ray Sway Logging Road. Going up this logging road, you see abandoned banana and Fortune Polonia plantations. The Black Nape Blue Monarch, White Rump Munia, and Collared Finchbill are birds that are active along the edge of the logging road. Sometimes Formosan macaques burst into their alarm call. After driving about 10 kilometers, you reach the boundary of Yuli Wildlife Refuge. Plantations of the conifers Cryptomeria and Taiwania are carefully managed and look neat and nice. Annual precipitation is high, up to 3,900 millimeters, and everywhere, 
are hanging lichens, mosses, other lichens, ferns, and other plants that thrive in wet environments. Since the devastating earthquake of September 21, 1999, falling rocks and landslides have reduced the vehicle accessible section of the raceway logging road from 32 to 19 kilometers. Beyond 19 kilometers, the road is passable only on foot. Mr. Chiu Shanchun, a forest bureau ranger, was with Professor Liu when the suspected Formosan clouded leopard footprint was found in Uli Wildlife Refuge in 1989. Now he has brought us to the mountains specifically to look for signs of the Formosan clouded leopard. It was almost 12 years ago. We saw a very clear, round footprint on the sandy river bed. It looked like the round footprint of tigers. We climb the eroded river valley and then get on the original logging road. Pioneer plants have almost covered all traces of the old road. We have to clear the vegetation and our progress is slow. We are tired and take a rest in the shade under a tree. A secretive Formosan striped squirrel does not escape the ranger's keen eyesight. The squirrel is in the tree grooming its fur. We are rested. Everyone puts on their backpacks and we move on. We must pass four eroded areas, and it will take about five hours to reach the logger's shed at 32 kilometers. The ranger finds very clear claw marks on the shed's metal door. Judging from their width and depth, they most likely were made by a Formosan black bear. Because we arrive at the shed late and the rangers are on duty tonight, we simply cook a big pot of noodles for dinner. Later on, as the rangers discuss the claw marks on the door, they recall that three Forest Bureau workers saw a mother and a baby bear by the logging road next to the shed on a snowy day last winter. It is before sunrise and the Mikado pheasant, a species endemic to Taiwan, strolls and forages on the logging road. Because it is the courtship season, the male pheasant occasionally flutters his wings while feeding, hoping to attract a female's attention. When the sun rises on the coastal mountains, warm air rises swiftly up to the sky and the crested serpent eagle's sharp, whistling cry goes up with the air, echoing in the sky above the refuge. Besides the crested serpent eagle, other raptors, including the crested goshawk, maintain stable populations in the refuge. Mr. Chiu Shanchun brings us to an old lookout station used for monitoring. He describes seeing a Taiwan black bear from the lookout station years ago. 
Although the view from the lookout station has been blocked by vegetation, claw marks on trees in the mature forest and den holes among the roots of Taiwan red cypress prove that bears are present. As we cross the ridge, besides the commonly seen Maury's rhododendron, we are surprised to find Nanhu rhododendron, which normally occurs only high in the mountains above 3,000 meters and not in this area, which is only 2,275 meters. Experts think, as temperatures have increased since the Ice Age, cool adapted plants have retreated up mountainsides. This is significant for understanding plant biogeography. The yellow-flowered Kawakami azalea, a rare species in Taiwan, often grows next to the trunk of Taiwan hemlocks. Walking down the ridge, we hear roaring water and enter the Fengping River Valley. It looks like Shangri-La. The Fengping River has deep pools, riffles, and smooth flat sections. Abundant and diverse river environments form a complete stream ecosystem. Fishes, insects, amphibians, and birds in this river ecosystem form a complex and intertwined food web. The little forktail, plumbeous water redstart, and brown dipper often feed in the river. The Taidong loach, a protected species, is the only fish in the refuge. Its flattened body and strong suction cups allow it to live in the riffles without being swept downstream. Rathbun's freshwater crab, the Formosan hairy crab, and another species of freshwater crab have all been discovered recently by researchers. We come to a sandy area by the river and are surprised and happy to find some wildlife footprints. A researcher thinks they were made by wild boar or clouded leopard. However, further study and comparison are needed to identify the prints. As it gets dark, a cool summer night's breeze arises, and the forest concert begins. Sauter's brown frog, the pango toad, Swinho's brown frog, and Motreki's green tree frog start to sing. The frog's calls are insistent, pulsating, sometimes nearby on the ground, sometimes more distant or up in the trees. Moltrechti's green tree frog is a protected species in Taiwan. The key field marks are its bright red webs and the blotchy black spots on its abdomen. The low and loud croaking of male frogs emanates from all the rivers and streams of the refuge. After pairing up with a male, the female frog kicks her hind feet to make a froth 
as the male frog lies atop her to stimulate egg laying. The banded krite is attracted by frog calls and crawls to the river to drink and hunt. As it slithers over the river rocks, the krite's black and white bands effectively warn would-be predators this snake is poisonous. The Formosan white-bellied rat is one of the most common rodents in the Uli Wildlife Refuge. They like to hang out near the shed looking for food. Bats are another type of nocturnal mammal in the refuge. Currently, seven bat species have been recorded in the refuge, including the Formosan lesser horseshoe bat and the Formosan greater horseshoe bat. It is deep night. The forest becomes quieter and quieter. In the dawn, melodious bird songs waken the earth. Birds are very abundant in the refuge, singing babblers. Active tits. Eurasian nuthatches that move freely up and down the tree trunk. Woodpeckers. And flocks of gray-throated minivets are all very common. In terms of plant protection, Taiwania, Taiwan yu, and Taiwan plum yu are precious conifers that are well protected in the refuge. Plants in the families Lorasi and Fagasi create the complex vertical structure of the forest. Shrubs, herbaceous plants, and ferns are all very common. The most abundant shrubs are many fruit fatsia, Taiwan angelica tree, round leaf viburnum, and edible debrigazia. Herbaceous plants include stinging nettle, Taiwan lily, solitary garlic orchid, and Formosan eupatorium. The most common ferns are Japanese shoestring fern, tuber sword fern, staghorn club moss, and oriental blechnum. In this refuge, researchers use unmanned cameras that take photos each time an animal comes near. These cameras are used to survey wildlife resources and have taken clear photos of wildlife, including protected species. The Formosan wild boar is endemic to Taiwan. They have a very keen sense of smell and are hard to see in the wild. Because Aboriginal tribes sacrifice wild boars for traditional ceremonies, hunting pressure on wild boar has been high.
However, since hunting in the wildlife refuge was stopped, the number of wild boars has increased significantly. Unfortunately, because of this population increase, this area attracts some illegal hunters and hunting activities. Therefore, the Hualien District Office, Yuli Ranger Station, has made a five kilometer patrol road in compartment 32 to catch poachers, stop illegal hunting, and conduct ecological monitoring. Currently, the burned area in compartment 32 has been overgrown by shrubs, beneficial to wildlife. Therefore, management policy is to let succession take place naturally, to benefit the survival and reproduction of wild animals and plants. The Uli Wildlife Refuge has plentiful animal and plant resources and encompasses a condensed version of the habitats and life forms on the lively island of Taiwan. The refuge contains the miracle of life's evolutionary history and is the best exhibit of the Forest Bureau's ecological conservation efforts. We believe that by working together, we will once again encounter the Formosan clouded leopard here.